In the wake of Sandy Hook, school districts in the state are focusing more attention on security now than ever before. School administrators from around the state met in Southington to map out the best ways to keep your little ones out of harm's way. News 8's Keith Coons here now with more on how schools plan to deal with our increasingly violent culture. Right, Sonia Darren, certainly a front burner issue at this point. Since the Newtown tragedy, we have all heard a lot of talk about teachers keeping weapons in their classrooms as a way to deal with potentially violent intruders. That is clearly an idea that Connecticut administrators are vehemently against. If you're wondering where school administrators here in Connecticut stand on the issue of arming teachers, there is a common sentiment that teachers, schools, and guns are a bad combination. A police officer who is trained to work in schools. Uh, one of the things that was recommended against very strongly was arming teachers and principals. Uh, because what it comes down to is that you need to make sure the person who has that firearm knows how to use it in a school setting. The entire educational community has been especially touched by the tragedy in Newtown last month. One administrator says she's been moved by the outpouring of love she's seen from those outside of Connecticut. In the past couple of weeks, I've been in three different cities on business trips, and I've experienced strangers in the airport come up to me and offer a hug and ask a question. They saw that a flight was coming in from Connecticut and they stopped their progress to wherever they were going and said, hey, we just want to let you know our hearts go out to all of you in Connecticut. Administrators are focusing in on four key responses to the issue of school security, prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery. Simple enough in concept, much tougher in terms of making it all work. Anyone who thinks there is one thing you can do that's going to, make, going to solve the problem is making a mistake. And with Sandy Hook still fresh on all of our minds, administrators believe dealing more effectively with mental illness will also be a key factor in preventing future tragedies. The key again, as, we, as we've said this morning, is it's a community, it's a, a collaborative effort on the part of all necessary people um, to provide ongoing resources and support. Now clearly in these times, this is a subject we will hear a great deal more about in the coming weeks and months as districts across the state and nation grapple with these critical issues of the day.